This can look like that. Yeah, like that looks good. That she know me, yeah, she mong nengo off. Uchi, or monarchy, no, uto, mono, maybe McDonald's. Young than I get your sauce for the cotal a common chick a hot burrito. Then an arm, the more the whole tater tots. The more hot and a poor, what the lumen may I not get a monu. Um, is it he, right? Yeah. Uber, you know, I'm not sure, don't we not? More guy, more dog, more onion, avocado. The past two clips on Jungle Uchi, Jungle Uchi, Jungle Uchi, Jungle Uchi, Jungle Uchi, but trust me, Uni or Head that she, um, they knew the Toya, more Hulish Shana, Uchi, Kong, or Mono, or your Uchi, the Tonga, you know, Uchi, more guy or, uh, Mono, so they told me, they told me that, but trust me, we don't eat out all the time, and, um, they told Gucci, but I'll record anything, sometimes I just don't have anything to vlog, so I just vlog when we go out, and that just so happens to be when we're eating. I'm starting to um, mix Hmong and English in my vlogs. I hope you guys don't mind. And um, yeah, I just think it's kind of fun and kind of cool because, you know, I just want to make sure that I can, you know, cater to more audience. Go saka de fini e shaku video na lo go understand the go hai chi the go ora chi so go try to hai lu mong the hai lu mika shi he so go go sa xin ch ta tao. Um but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying it and hopefully ning ye ku your videos not here. And um Gucci Gucci sa hai lu mong and go hai lu mong chi chong ming. But um I will try my best and um I do apologize if I mispronounce anything or if I'm not saying it correctly. So it's really dark in the car, the sunlight is not in the best place right now, but it's around ten in the morning and we have to go and do some grocery shopping today and also just buy stuff for the house. Look at this bad decision aisle right here. No. What I want, they don't serve here. Or they don't have it in stock. I mean, we just got the regular ones up there, but we should get the scented ones. Febreze. Not to you, I don't really know. I don't give a damn. Last time, the one I think we just got the regular. all this crap.
Any new ones? Oh, yeah, yeah. Does that click let you know that it's tight enough? Yeah, it sets it. So you don't over tighten. Do I need to get more oil? Eventually. I should organize it and put it over there, but I'll do it when it's warmer. Eventually we're gonna have to get access to those things. We should put some more shit in my Yeah, I can Okay. I was thinking we should probably take out the trash before we go. That way we don't have to do it when we get home. Until next winter. Good morning everyone. So it's about 8.30 right now. Today I'm going to work a little bit later. My schedule is really different this week. But um, yeah, I just got done getting ready for work. Today is the third day since I haven't washed my hair. And um... It's starting to get a little brassy from what it looks like to me. So I need to, um, tomorrow or tonight, I need to wash my hair with purple shampoo. And um, I want to buy one that my stylist recommended. It's called um, the Fanola No Yellow color or something like that. But um, you can get it on Amazon. So I'm going to have to purchase that later. And I have a few things I also want to get on Amazon as well too. So yeah. I want to go back in May to get my hair done just so um, it's a little bit more fresh for the wedding because my brother's getting married in June. I need to pack lunch for today. Yesterday I cooked some snow peas with pork. I just made like a stir fry dish, something very simple. And um, yeah, so I'm going to eat that for lunch today. I'm just going to put it in this little tubware right here. And I need to do my dishes when I get home later. Every time we have leftovers, I just take it to work and I just eat it. That way we don't waste any food. So we just picked up some new tires for me. We got them off of Facebook for like $200. So I bet my wheels a couple months back i got into a car accident so i needed some new wheels so we got these we'll uh, probably put them on this weekend maybe not tomorrow at least by sunday or so, so. thank you honey hey everyone so um today is sunday my husband and i um this morning we went to church and after church we always go shopping so we did a little bit of shopping and um, now we're just cooking some lunch before we head on over to his cousin's house and just to visit them later. And um, 
Yeah, on Friday it was raining a lot. It's been raining a lot because obviously it's springtime. So on Friday, my husband and I went to go and buy some tires off on Facebook from this one lady that was selling um, some tires that she had that she wasn't using anymore. And they were still pretty good. We paid about like $200 for them. And um, my husband, if you guys don't know, he's really into cars. He loves fixing cars. It's like a really big hobby of his. And um, his dad is also a mechanic as well. So um i'm just so i'm just really thankful that he is good at fixing them because every time i have an issue with my car whether it's like broken i need my oil change or um just little things he's able to fix them and um, when i got into my car accident i actually jammed my seatbelt. so he went on over to the junkyard and he was able to find a um new set and fix my seatbelt for me because i actually couldn't turn it was like completely jammed and it was really hard to drive for a while because it was just like very restricted because I jammed my seatbelt. But um, yeah, sorry my lips are kind of dry, but I'm just very thankful and happy that I have, you know, someone who can do these things. And um, also whenever my family needs like help with like their cars or their trucks, they always text them and ask them to see if he may know like the issue to it or what could be causing like the trouble. But yeah. I'm just very happy so I never have to worry about taking my car to the shop unless it's something that he can't do then we'll take it to the shop but other than that he's able to um, fix my car whenever I need him to and for my husband actually bought my vehicle for me this was before we got married um, when I got my license I've only been driving for probably almost five years so not that long I didn't get my license until I think I was 21 so I waited pretty long because I always had him to drive me everywhere and um, yeah so he got me this car off of Craigslist and um, it had like some transmission issues with it but then when he bought it from the people they gave him the extra transmission that they uh, bought but they never fixed it. So him and his dad were able to fix it for me so it drives uh, perfectly fine and um, I don't know what they were doing with the car but it had like a lot of um hay in the back of it so we teared out everything we stripped the whole entire car like anything that was carpet anything we could wash we took it all out and he power washed everything for me so um it was really dirty and it had like a nasty smell to it but he was able to get all that out and um we took all the seats everything anything that was carpet in there we took it out and we washed it all so um, I'm just very thankful that he knows how to do those kind of things because it just makes it a lot easier for me because I can only imagine if something happened to my car and I didn't know what it was. Um, I can imagine how easy it is for car shops to like, you know, take advantage of you and charge you a lot more, especially because I don't know anything about cars. Like I don't know how to fix it. I know how to change my oil and stuff. Well, not change, but I know how to check my oil and stuff like that, but as simple as just getting my tires changed or my oil changed or just fixing like a light that's like broken like he knows how to do all of that so it literally saves like a lot of money so i really appreciate it and yeah i mean car guys are expensive they have really expensive hobby everything to buy like they're always my husband he's always looking at like new car parts like new tools cars like he's always on the hunt on it so i just want to share what it's like to be married to someone who is into cars because if you are in the same situation that i am you know they can get very expensive so um yeah and they don't just have one car they have more than they will ever drive so my husband is cooking some lunch for us right now he's making some steak and some home sausages and i'm so hungry and i just can't wait to eat but yeah this is what we're eating. We have some steak. We have some bone sausages. It looks so good. We're not eating any rice, so it's just strictly meat. Mm. And we have some dried pepper with some A1 sauce right here to dip the meat in. Should you boil the cauliflower? No. Sorry. So this is all we're eating, just straight up 
meat, no rice, no veggies. And we don't have a dinner table, so we just have this thing that we bought from Portland about two, three years ago, three or four years ago. And this is our dinner table. So we're gonna pray so that we can eat. You wanna pray, honey? Thank you guys so much for stopping by and I don't know if this is going to be the last clip in this vlog video but if it is um, hopefully you guys enjoy this one and um, I don't really have anything much left to say. I do appreciate every single view that I get on my videos. It makes me very happy whether you know you comment or not. It just makes me very happy that people are watching or hopefully finding some joy out of these videos and um, that's all I have to say. Um, I hope you are having a good day or a good night whenever you are watching this and if you want to stay up to date with um, the videos I post make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.